If a person believes riba is halal, do they have to retake the shahada? No, 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 no. It's not, you know, takfir is not that easy, my brothers. You have to uh, explain what do you think, why is it halal? Do you know now in Egypt, do you know now in Egypt, the one they call themselves Shafi'i, and these are uh, Sufi Ash'aris, in Egypt, they believe now they come, like Khal Jundi, and uh, those, those, they are, uh, they uh, clearly they say we, 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 uh, Trump for the, Government, even government did not ask them. They said there is no riba. There is no such thing as riba. You understand? There is no such thing as riba haram. Khalas, gone. Everything is halal. So if that's this person, based on their fatwa, is being misguided, yes, what he said is kufr, but he doesn't become kafir because he has the other and the excuse of ta'wil. He's been misguided by big guy with a turban and beard or no beard. They don't keep it, these people. Yeah, in Egypt and the Mufti, Al-Allama, Doctor. Wallah, they say there's no riba. They say halal, they say everything, go to the bank, take it. And they call riba al-fadl. They say there's only riba, riba nasi'a. Nasi'a is that when, when I give you some money, they say go for six months, 10,000 pound. After six months, bring me 12,000 pound. They say this is the only one Nasi'a. Fadl uh, is not. So uh, we're not going to come to explaining that now. Go on. Now he's not going to be kafir. This, the action is kufr. The qawl is kufr. But the person can't be kafir. Because it's different between when you explain the ruling and you implement it on someone. When you implement it on someone else, you have to look at the condition of that person. Barakallahu